Hey, this is Latoya and I'm back with another video. So today is a little story time and I'm gonna tell you my worst moment with DoorDash. So stay tuned. So I have been doing DoorDash since September of 2020 and most of the time it's been good. Like I say 95% of the time. My mom started doing DoorDash before me, about like a week before me. And I was helping her, running her around um, with the app because I'm better with the phone and all that. So I saw how easy DoorDash was. Um, I started out with shipped grocery delivery. I was doing that, but that was slowing down in my area. So I started, um, so I saw how easy DoorDash was and I signed up under my mom and she got that $750 bonus. I was so happy for her. She was able to buy a refrigerator. <laughs> so I started doing DoorDash and um, yeah, most of the time it's been good because I was already used to using these type of apps with Shipt. Um, and I knew I had to communicate with the customer. I kind of knew how it went because I was helping mom as well. So it was a smooth transition for me. So there was one moment that um, was really messed up and I feel so bad for the customers. So one day I was out, I had a double order. So I had two orders at the same time. Uh, my phone charger, my car phone charger was acting up. <laughs> so I noticed it, I would plug my phone in and it would like halfway charge or it would stop charging. And I knew that was gonna be a mess. So my battery was already low when I got this uh, stacked order. But I took it anyway, thinking everything would be okay. So I get to the first restaurant, everything is cool. The second restaurant I had trouble finding. I'm like, where is it at? It was in a plaza. So I had trouble finding the restaurant and um, that took up a lot of battery. I was walking up and down the plaza. My battery was very low. I would say like 5% at this point. So I turned on the low battery mode, which helps, but still. So I finally find the restaurant. I have both of the packages. By the time I get to the car, my phone is dead. And I panicked. <laughs> so I had two customers orders in my car and I'm trying to plug up this phone charger, the car charger that was already shot. So I put it in, it looks like it's not even charging. And um, I waited a few minutes, thankfully it did eventually charge, but it took a while. And um, there was no way for me to communicate with the customers what was going on. And the food of course was, wasn't staying as hot. I had my bag, but still. So I was just panicking. I had no idea where these customers lived or anything. After maybe 15, 20 minutes, I don't even know. It was a while before my phone actually turned back on. It was charged enough for me to use the GPS to go to the first customer. I tried to do it before and the phone cut off while the GPS was on. I'm like, this is gonna be a mess. So finally, the uh, phone was charged enough so I went to the first customer just apologizing thankfully the customers was understanding I didn't get cussed out or anything like that they were understanding and uh, they just wanted their food so it worked out but one thing I could say is always have at least two chargers make sure your car chargers your portable charger is working and that you always have at least two chargers with you because, I mean, that could have been messed up. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my quick story time. And I hope that advice helped you. And stay tuned for my next video. Peace.